Well, this is John Black, Super Chemist. Nice easy video today, just how to get, not how to make, just how to get it. Uh, sodium benzoate. Now, sodium benzoate is not, I, you can't really buy it at the store, although you, maybe you can if you go to like a uh, canning store where they can foods or a uh, maybe a health store. I don't know. But I can just get it from eBay. Um, you get a whole, this is a palm baggie here. Um, there's no big deal in buying it. It's like food almost. It's because it's really just used as a food preservative. Like if you can vegetables or something or foods, you'd use this to help preserve it so it didn't go bad. Um, so you can buy truckloads of it. It's no big deal. Um, it's nice, easy. All it is is a benzene ring with a carboxy group on it or a carboxyl group on it. That's all it is. And uh, I guess that's, that's about it, really. You can get it from eBay. I mean, it's cheap as heck. Anyways, everyone have a great day, and always remember, science is great. Well, I just wanted to show my graduated cylinders. You can see as it starts out, I got a little 10. This is what I usually use for uh, uh, density. Uh, 10 milliliters that way you don't have to you know it's nice and light on the scale and you don't need a lot of product to do it and I got a what is this a 50 the hundred one I broke as you can see but it's still pretty good I mean I think it goes up to it still goes up to 100 right here so it still works uh, 250 milliliter and then the big bad boy the 1000 you can see that. Is that uh, that's giant. I don't think I'd ever have enough to that to even fill that all the way up, man. Uh, you know where I need to do have an exact volume. Well, these are great for uh, measuring stuff to exactly. You know what I'm saying? You know those uh, beakers. Um, they look like cups and the uh, Erlenmeyer and let me get some these kind of beakers And these kind of beakers right Erlenmeyer beaker They are not accurate. They're just guesses All right, now don't get me wrong. They're close But close isn't exact these graduated cylinders are exact Okay so keep that in mind if you're trying to do a density test and you're using these you're not going to get an accurate density off of it because these aren't accurate these these markings are not accurate i don't know why i mean it's for science these these are obviously for science right both of these they're obviously for measuring stuff out how how much harder would it have been for them to make once it's measured it's measured once the machine is set it's set why wouldn't they set them to be exact i don't know but they're not <laughs> Uh, they are close though, but these these are exact. So when you do a density test or something like that, you need to have an exact uh, volume of something. You use these. Anyways, I just wanted to show them off. Uh, that's pretty much all of them that I have. Enjoy a good day, huh?